What's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to show you how to create your very own pixel art NFT. It's quite simple. Um, it's completely free other than you have to have Adobe Illustrator. So if you have that, let's jump right into it. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a perfect square. Uh, standard for me is about 10 inches by 10 inches. Okay, so let's start off by going to our rectang rectangle tool. Hold shift, click and drag to make a perfect square. So let go and then let go shift after. And so let's make sure we don't have a stroke on here. So it's the fill color and let's make it black. That way we can see where our rectangle is. So let's hold shift and we are gonna make this perfect square a lot smaller. So now what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna zoom in and then go to your selection tool and you're gonna hit Control C, Control V to copy and copy and paste. And then you're gonna click and make sure it intersects perfectly so they're, they're right next to each other. All right, so now we're gonna to wanna to create six wide. So I'm gonna Control C, Control V to make those two more. And then I'm gonna Control V and paste those two more. So now we have six wide perfectly and now we're gonna click and select all of them. Control C, Control V to paste. And then, so now we've got two rows of six. Okay, so I have two rows with six in each. So I'm gonna wanna select them all, hit Control C, Control V to copy and paste, and we're gonna wanna make eight of these two rows. So I need to do it two more times. Pasting, clicking and dragging, and pasting, clicking and dragging. So now you can see in this document, there's just a bunch of little squares that makes this giant rectangle. So now let's just start going in and deleting. So I'm gonna click there, delete, click there, delete. So we're starting the hair here. Um, we're gonna do the neck. So let's get rid of here. Um, I'll delete two on this side, two on this one. So you can kind of see the head and then the neck here a little bit. So let's delete here, delete here. Um, and then we'll leave that. Or right, let's start with the hair actually. So we're gonna click, click here, hold shift. Keep clicking, keep clicking. And I'm gonna leave this one separate so it looks like the hair goes up a little bit. All right, so now we have these selected. Let's change the color to yellow. So we can see the hair is yellow. And then now let's start clicking on the inside. Uh, click, hold shift, click, hold shift. We'll get his neck as well. I'm selecting all of these squares. And then in this one, let's go to our fill color right here. Let's click on it to open up our color picker. Um, and I kind of want it to be a tan uh, skin tone color. So it's a little darker. Okay, perfect. So now let's create the face and jaw different from the neck and the ear. So let's click and hold shift again, hold shift and click. A lot of it. Oops, I moved it. It hit control Z if you ever move something or mess up and need to go back. All right, so we have just the face now. Now let's go over here to our Pathfinder and let's merge the shapes. Unite is the correct terminology. So now for the ear, let's unite them. Other ear, unite. The neck and the, uh, I don't know, like the collarbone area. Let's click and unite those as well. So now, oh, we need to unite the hair as well. So click, hold, shift, click, hold, shift. There's a lot of clicking and holding shift. All right, unite. So now we have one, two, three, four, five different objects on here. So now it's really gonna come to life when we're gonna add a stroke to these. So I'm gonna click and select and hold all of them. And then up here in the stroke, let's click black. Um, and let's change it to about a three. And you might need to play with um, the different size of strokes you're gonna apply because yours might you might want yours to be skinnier stroke or bigger stroke for this one and the size of that I want to use a three. So we've got the hair, the eyes, uh, and the ears and the neck. So now let's add the face in. So for this one, I'm gonna measure right here, create a perfect square, and then I'm actually gonna make it about a third of that square. And then let's bring it right here for the eyebrow. All right, now Control C, Control V to copy and paste this bad boy. And 
then now let's actually control C, control D this one more time. Rotate. And now let's take off the stroke. So now you can see there's no stroke. And let's change the eye color to green. And then we are just gonna click and move it right here, just somewhere under the eyebrows. Control C, Control V. There we go. So we got the eyes, the eyebrows coming in. And now let's do the nose, the nose. Let's just paste it one more time. And then I'm gonna hold um, Shift and bring it bigger. So just Shift and I moved it. So let's make this the same color as the skin tone. So I'm gonna click the eyedropper tool and get that same exact color that we got there. Except for this one, I'm gonna take off the stroke and I'm gonna double click color picker and I'm just gonna make it just a tad bit darker. That way it looks like it's a shadow. And so let's copy and paste this shadow. And let's bring it to the ear. Click and drag that down so it fits. And then control V, paste. Control C, control V. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in and make sure this lines up perfectly so it, there's no overlapping edges. Okay, now let's control V and paste it again. Let's rotate it for the neck. Um, I'm just holding shift and rotate, that way it's perfect, a uh, 90 degree angle rotate. Okay, perfect. And then I'm gonna zoom out. And look at that, we got the neck, we got the everything going, so now we just need to do the mouth. So let's hit control V one more time. Let's rotate it. Put it here and let's make this color black. And then let's hit Control V again. Rotate, bring it right by the mouth, but make it a little bit lower. Um, now click on the mouth, the black shape we just created. Right click, arrange, bring to front. So now we have these shadows that kind of bring some depth. So what we're gonna need to do now is just make a little bit of a neckline and then this thing should be done. So for here, we're gonna click and hold on the rectangle tool and go to the line tool. I'm gonna to click right here in the middle, hold shift and bring it down, let go. And then I'm gonna hit I for the eyedropper. And I'm gonna click on that, the stroke, so it matches the stroke exactly. Control C, Control V, so it copy and pasted it. And I'm gonna make it line up exactly. I might zoom in right here, so we can make it line up perfect. There we go. And then there you have it. You have your own NFT uh, pixelated head. So now let's bring this in the middle. And a lot of NFTs have like a, a cool background or just a one color background. So now let's go back to our line tool we just did, a rectangle tool now. And let's click and make it the entire page, the entire artboard. And let's just do a light green for the background. All right, so now you go to your selection tool, right click, arrange, send to back, and there you have it. You have your own pixelated customized NFT. So with NFTs, everything is swappable, you can change stuff out. So you can give different expressions, maybe it's a girl, you do different, uh, you do different hair in the pixels. But this is the start to uh, creating one of many pixelated NFTs. All right, thanks for stopping in.